or the DG. It doesn't make sense. And there are levels in this thing. Are we saying that we will not debate if other candidates do not show up? Yes, we will not. We are setting, you know, we, we, we are setting the standard and the record straight. We are the ones that are coming to change the system. We cannot participate in a subversion of the system. That will be you know, totally contradicting our position of creating a new Nigeria. If anybody wants to organize a debate, and he wants to bring people from the street, we will not be part of it. Whatever you say, if it's agreeable to us and we all agree, we will keep to it and we will stand by it. But you don't change the rules and, you know, just anything, it doesn't matter now, it's a, you know, uh, it's a joint ticket. No, no, no. You watch American debates. You watch European debates. If it is prime ministers, it is prime ministers. If it is president, it is president. If it is VP, it is VP. You know, we must, we must start to do things properly from somewhere. And we think it is now. The other question, I really didn't fully understand is that, are we going to be calling major candidates to a debate? We are not calling any debates because apparently there are a lot of interests and a lot of organizations and institutions who are already into this, organizing these debates. So for us, it will be a distraction to be arranging debates. But what we're saying is that no matter how many they are, or no matter how few they are, when we are summoned to come, we will come by rank. When you call vice presidents, our vice president will show up. When you call presidents, our president will show up. 